Hello everyone, David from goldstartool.com and uh, today um, I'm shipping out a console 205RB-1. I know I never did a video on this one and uh, I'm gonna make a video on this one. And while I'm doing a video on this one, I saw that there is a 206RB-5 that is going out too for a customer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a video on this one. I'm gonna, we're gonna do a comparison, okay? It's a very busy day today. It's almost holiday, they're almost here and people are buying the sewing machine. And we have a bunch of Juki. If you're gonna go ahead and do a wide frame. See, we have a Juki 1541S that is going out there. It's a 206RB-1, 206RB-5, 1541, uh, 1560 double needle and a bunch of stuff back there. We're not gonna get into it. We're gonna go and do a real quick video on this one. And we're gonna say what are the differences between these two machines. Okay, so again, this is a walking food machine and made in by console. All the tables, all the legs are the same size. We're not gonna go over those. Uh, I'm gonna try to show with 207 thread, nylon thread, made by New Tech. We have uh, a gold star. Very, very popular uh, thread that we use, okay? So this machine had a manual bobbin winder on the side. Um, one needle walking foot. The uh, thread, the needle on this machine is 135 by 17. And on 206 RB-5 is also 135 by 17. We're gonna go through differences, but let me just thread it and I thought, People love me to, I mean, a lot of people say you don't, you do things very fast, David. I'm gonna do it very slowly. All right, right? So the thread, always get big cones. That's why they call them cones. Don't get those small, tiny, tiny bobbin thread for home sewing machine. Those are for home sewing machine. These are for industrial machine. Again, I'm gonna apologize. I have a bunch of people, like six, seven people are working in the background. This is the assembly uh, place here, and you're gonna hear noises. And I apologize, but uh, that's the only way I could do the videos right now. So get the cone of thread, the way you see it like this. Don't get, people call me and they tell me, hey, we have problem sewing, and everything is perfect. I check, they have a tiny bobbin of thread right here, which is very hard for the machine to pull. That's why you keep stitching. That's why you don't have good stitching. You gotta make sure you have a good, good commercial thread. This, in this case, we have a nylon thread bonded. You're gonna go, even the way the thread stand is sitting is very important. You wanna make sure this is going for sewing, this is going for bobbin winding, and I'm gonna go over it. Uh, the, the bobbin on this machine is M class bobbin. I'm gonna go through all three. We're gonna come down, in, out, in, out, in, out. Go through here. We're gonna call this a upper tension. And I could even do two, like go here and do here. Or do here. However you feel like you wanna do it, I'm gonna do here and go down. I'm gonna skip this one. I could even come in and out and go back. I don't need to come in here, put it inside, inside the tension, up and around the tension uh, take up spring and up, you see? In, inside, through here, up. We're gonna go inside here and take up lever right here. They call this take up lever. And then whenever you wanna get some more thread and it's very hard to pull, you just push this and it's gonna release all the tension, you see? Right here. And the knee lifter right here. And if you see, when I do this, that the tension releases itself and then I could pull out the thread inside all this guide, as you see, this is a uh, oiled, silicone oiled um, a piece of cloth. 
we're gonna go inside the another thread guide right here the hole uh, again I'm gonna go over this but the thread that I'm gonna be using on this machine and that machine is gonna be the same the needle is the same the table and leg is the same we're gonna go see how they both uh, the only thing is different but I'm gonna go over it right now I don't want to jump into it but I'm gonna let you what is different left to the right okay that let's see go left to the right beautiful good we are done there is there is no reason for a machine that it's brand new when you buy it have tension problem or stitching problem unless you're doing it wrong see what comes inside the compartment here four m bobbins couple of screwdrivers an oiler very important to oil when you get this you pour the oil you're gonna get this you pour some of the oil here you're gonna oil all the areas up here that are uh we call this a uh, plug you pull the plug out just put drop of oil in there to make sure the machine is gonna work the rest of the oil goes i'm gonna lock this it's gonna go down here Everything is gonna go down here. This is okay that it's hanging. It, is a, it has to be hanging. This is a pump. The oil goes here. And you don't throw this out. This is very important. This is an umbrella. All right, you need this. Because when you push the knee lifter, it's gonna press the umbrella. Umbrella is gonna press the, the foot and the foot is gonna go up. So the rest of the oil goes here. When it's low, you add. When it's high, you stop. I'm sorry, I'm going over. So this is a side load bobbin from here. Obviously, you could do it from the top. The bobbin and bobbin case on this machine and the 206 RB are the same. The only thing that is different so far that I could tell you are the feed dog, the plate, and the foot. This is a different style of foot. The foot on the 206 RB are uh, original console, like uh, Juki 1181 uses this one. But when it comes to Juki 1541 or 1508, they all use that style. I'm gonna go over that. We have all the type of uh, foot on our website. What is right here? This is uh, a, a, a window that when the oil is pumping out, you can see. A stitch length to eight millimeters, a stitch length here is to ten millimeters. Eight to ten. Both have reverse and both have side bobbin winding. A speaking of side bobbin winding, I'm gonna cut uh, it's been a long time, a while, we've been busy. I haven't done any videos but as I get to them. I, I try to make them as much as I can. I know because you guys like those videos and I like to make them. And uh, thank you for watching and thank you for your support. Right. Side bobbin. The way it's gonna work, the same way, I'm gonna put it out. Here. And this one comes down. I'm gonna put it through here. And then inside the bobbin, the tension, we're gonna leave it right here. And then I'm going to bobbin and put it in here if you see it's very loose in here i made a video but i'm gonna say you see this a spindle there is a slit in it if you see it open you just get one of these screwdrivers okay and just open it up you see like that and put it back in Again, still needs more. Go ahead and 
There is an eight if you ask why this won't fit in here because these bobbin winders are made for many, many, many type of sewing machines. Some of those sewing machines have a smaller hole inside bobbin, so it's normal for it to be adjusted. Now it's perfect. You take, you bring it inside, you do one, two, three, as much as you can, better. Oop, you see? Let me get more. I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna leave it right there. The machine is assembled on a uh, uh, a brushless motor, adjustable brushless motor. If you, when you get the machine, you see, and you start working with the machine, you see the motor is going this way. It might be a wrong way. You just need to press, hold. Turn off. I made a mistake, I should have just pressed S. Press S and it's gonna move the other, go the other way. You see now? You go the other way. Hopefully. Let me see even if it's going the other way. Let me get a piece of fabric, please. We're gonna try. We wanna make sure it's not going reverse. Okay, let me, and then we're gonna go to it. It's only a piece of fabric for me to try. So knee lift right here. So far, everything is the same again. The foot are different right here. Take this out. I'm gonna put this here. I'm gonna start sewing. Okay, now it's good. Sometimes when you get it, the machine goes reverse, okay? is the way the motor are set. All you have to do is press S and hold. And you see this? This is the right direction. If you buy the sewing machine and when you assemble or when you receive it, you see it's going the other way, you just press S and hold and it's gonna reverse the direction. Okay, so. Again, I am going, I am doing a very, very uh, tough, and uh, thick thread. I just, the reason I'm doing this because I wanna know how thick, how strong this machine could sew. So it might be that this machine, let's say, and we will know at the end, cannot handle a 207 thread. But that's why I'm making this video because I'm gonna make the same video. I'm gonna do comparison. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other one. Okay? This is a 12 to 14 ounce, maybe 16 ounce fabric. I'm gonna do four layers. You see right now when I come down, you see that this is not coming all the way down. Whenever you put oil in here, everything's going to be perfect. See, when I put it up, it's not coming down all the way. These are the things that you might have problem with when you receive this, but we try everything. I'm saying you could put a drop of oil in here and everything is gonna be okay. Let me just try this. You know, as soon as you start working with it, the first time you get it, you receive it, you might have a little bit of, you know, but as soon as you start working, so we have bunch of thread for this sewing machine, a bunch of food for this sewing machine, but if you need a uh, zipper food, coding food, edge guide, whatever you need. Now, it's a four layer. By the way, the needle that is on the machine that we're gonna check with the other one is size um, 20. 
This is size 20 on this one. You get a part book. And I would let you know one more thing that there is a difference between this machine and 206RB is that this one has the oil pan. And that machine does not have an oil pan. Okay? This one has oil. So the foots are different. Uh, the needles are the same, but so far so good. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and that was four layers. I'm gonna do eight layers. You see, it's giving you a problem. Let me see if I could. Now remember, this machine is not oil, so it doesn't do good on a eight layer. You see, it stops. But for what I did, and I want you to see it, on the four layer, it did a great job. Look at that. This is four layers that we did. Again, you could adjust the Nutella for favor. I'm getting more fabric here. If you have all the machine, and I'm gonna do six layer now. So it's one, two, three, four, and five, six. We're gonna do on a six layer. You could do leather, you could do canvas, you could do whatever you want on this machine. No problem. By the way, see here, while we were sewing, the bobbin got full right here. And when it's full, it stops. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put an eight. Six layers, no problem. It might, uh, at the beginning, but. As soon as you give it a thing, it's gonna go. I think that six, six layers of thick Denim jeans, perfect. Adjustment right here if you need to do some adjustment. It's, I see it's a little bit loose, I adjust. I could pull back in there again, six layers. No problem. I don't wanna push it, there is no oil in the machine. And I don't want to. So right now, so far, we see that the machine could do pretty much everything. Uh, the machine, this is on a T leg. Everything's perfect. Now we're gonna go on the other sewing machine and see. Let me take this out. Now, whenever you want to take this out, all you have to do is play with it like this. Back and forth and wiggle it and it will come up. Now, we're gonna go back to the other sewing machine. On this one, we're gonna try this one. Again, shoot the mess, tough. All right, same thing, same table, same leg, the same bobbin. We did the same type of food. Uh, now, I hope you could see that. I'm gonna push it up. I'm gonna lock the. No oil pan right here. Nothing. No oil pan. There is no oil to put in there. What you do is, make sure that I'm not gonna. When you get the machine, it might be a little bit rusty putting it together, but don't worry about it. Everything's gonna be okay when you start working with it. I, I mean, might need some help to put this back in there. Let's see why it's not.
Okay, very good. That was the problem. That was the problem. I had to adjust this one before I put it in it. But so good, so far, good. We're gonna start again. This one goes to 10 millimeter, no oil pan. Same table, same leg, same type of brushless motor, LED lamp, thread, sand, everything, same, same type of thread. Let's look at the tension. The tension is totally different, more heavy. It's like a one and two, it's a heavier type of thread. The machine itself is bigger, it's much more powerful. Even though it doesn't have oil pan, you have a bunch of holes here that mark red. When you receive the machine, you also will get all this stuff that you saw on the other one. So you have extra bobbins, needles, oiler. You must oil everything before you start and let it soak for an hour or two. Now, we're gonna go back to the sewing that we did with the other one. So I know this one will do the fourth. Now I'm gonna go see the eight. We had problem with that one with the eight layers. Go up, bring the thread up. And again, the foot, if you could see, the foot is totally different this time. Outside is flat, inside is round. Uh, the plate and feed dog is more heavy duty, much more heavy duty. And by the way, we sell many, many, many more 206 RB-5 than the 206 RB-1. Okay, so the food is different, oil pan, 10 millimeter, the tension, the whole style, and let's see. That's what I'm talking about, you see? You can't see it, but I'm gonna show you guys that it did not even on the eight layers, right? What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do it backwards so you guys see the two, four, six, eight, right? I'm gonna do it backward because I want you guys to see that teaching. No problem. Back, front, beautiful stitch. Now, I'm gonna do 16, right? You gotta do it. So definitely more powerful sewing machine. We did up to six. Tiny, tiny problem with six layers. Here, um, 16 layers right here. So this machine, you, again, canvas, leather, any type of sewing you wanna do. Same needle, same bobbin, and bobbin. This is 10 millimeter reverse. We didn't try reverse on that one, but you're not gonna have any problem. Reverse. A bobbin winder right here. Uh, everything is perfect, good. I'm happy that I did a comparison video. I want you guys to understand when you receive these machines, you need to oil them. Oil, 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 drops of oil, three, four drops of oil. And, but the rest is beautiful. Beautiful sewing machine, both consoles. Uh, David from goldstarpool.com and uh, let me know if you want me to do any type of video for you. This is a comparison between 205RB-1 and 205, 206. This is 205RB-1 and this is 206RB-5. Thank you for watching and have a golden day.